dear ananda i welcome you all with my love and respects today's questions can love also become a meditation only love can become meditation without the component of love any technique you do will be dry dull you will not be able to continue more than few days i have seen people doing this technique that technique but not more than few days only with a deep love even a technique become meditation please understand technique is not meditation technique becomes meditation when the love is added when the love is added anything you do is meditation when you are floating in love you are in meditation real meditation will awaken love in you the real love will awaken meditation in you there are two different names when you are soul with it with its pure energy flows through your senses to the outer world it can be called as love the same energy when it flows inward it can be called as meditation whether it is love or meditation from same source same energy same purity love should become meditation meditation should become love please understand from my own experience i can say the time i spent with arunagiri yogeshwara in the physical form maybe i don't know around 9 months from summer vacation to the end of the year around april march april that time to end of the year in india april is the time the summer vacation starts usually the end of the year around 9 months i can say the time i spent with him physically having his darshan being around him i can say still i remember very clearly the experience of love in me that was the first and i can say in a way last experience i experienced love in such a beautiful way towards a person towards a being then it became a different experience kind of a radiating and connecting with the whole world but the kind of love i experienced with him i used to continuously feel what i can do to him what i can give him but i am a small boy it will feel very silly what can i give to a god himself an incarnation an avatar of purusha at that time i do not know all these big big words this avatar of purusha god and all that i know that he is a sadhu from my idea any sadhu means he is an enlightened or avatar of purusha that's all these big big words i do not know but i know sadhu means god that's the way i felt and it was such a such an intense connection experience still i remember in the night i'll be sitting with that alarm clock and changing the time pushing the time fast so that early morning again i can rush to the temple to see him to have his darshan but of course me changing the alarm clock won't push the time <laughs> that intense love and night only when the watchman is about to close the temple when they go around the temple and vacating everybody i'll come out out of the temple whole day practically i'll be sitting with him i've never bothered about food or water when i was i was around him i i, did, I never even remembered about food or water just sitting sitting talking or walking with him 
going around that area. Nothing particular. Not that he will be teaching me in a very systematic way. Nothing like that. Sitting and chatting casually. And still I remember when I had his darshan, it is not that the other things have been taken away from my sight. I was able to see everything very clearly. It was physical darshan. So, just sitting, chatting, you do not know how time passes. I continuously used to feel what I can give, whatever I get in my hand, whether it is a little money in the house or uh, uh, some clothes or some sweets, anything I am given in the house. The first thing I will pack it and keep it for him and bring it to him. <laughs> he will laugh. That's, of course, sometime he will eat also, he will enjoy. And there is a beautiful story in saint named Kannappar. There is a very, it is a very beautiful story that saint, he sees a Shivalinga in a place called Kalahasti in Andhra Pradesh and he just falls in love with the deity. He is just in love with the deity, with Shiva and the story says Shiva wanted to test his devotion and in that Shivalinga the eye was carved, in that, from that eye the blood started oozing out. This Kannapar tried all the herbal medicines and everything to heal him, heal the eyes, nothing worked out. He is a hunter, so he knows only one medi uh, method, eye for eye will heal the eye. So, he just removes his own eye and replaces it in the place of Shiva's eye. The story says the first eye bleeding stopped and immediately within few minutes the next eye started bleeding and he is not bothered, he was ready to give even the second eye. But before taking his second eye, he suddenly remembered if I take my second eye, I will become blind. How will I find out where to fix the eye, where the Shiva's eye is there? So, he puts his leg on the second eye of Shiva as a mark. Then he removes his second eye to fix on the Shiva's eye. At that moment, Shiva appears and gives darshan and gives him enlightenment and Shiva Padavi, Shiva Sayujya, we call it, means becoming one with Shiva. Very beautiful story. The love became meditation. That love for Shiva, whole day he was living in meditation. That is why he just feels, what can I give, what can I give, what can I give? I can understand that Kannapar's feeling because I went through that same feeling with Arunagiri Yogeshwara. It was such a strong experience. The deep love simply becomes meditation and real meditation just becomes love in you. Love, energy, meditation, compassion, all these are same ingredient with the different names. Different names, intelligence, energy, love, compassion, meditation, all these things are just different words for the same experience. You may use different name, but experience is one and the same. So, love is meditation, meditation is love. When you feel love, you will just feel what can I do to for that person? How can I serve? How can I be of help? How can I be available? Love is meditation, meditation is love. Thank you.